Hey, what's up? And welcome to a really new and uh, exciting, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't really say tutorial, um, Speed After Effect. <laughs> so, hey, what's up? And welcome to a really new uh, Speed After Effect. Today, we're not going to see any motion or anything. I just want to focus on um, something that is really important, which is the technique and uh, how you use After Effects. Before you start motion, you need to um, you need to know some stuff. You need to know the basic. You need to to know how to lay out. You need to know how to use your effect and all that. So I was asked for by uh, After Effects Malaysia to create a new poster for the upcoming event, which is in the 29th of April in uh, Asia Pacific University, which is an IT university. So it was quite challenging because AE is all about art and. Uh, VFX and all that and uh, Asia Pacific University is all about IT so I had to make a mix between art and technology so I started by drafting some ideas and uh, everything first in the paper because that's the first thing you have to do I mean stop just going directly to After Effects but try to sketch things first you have to get your idea first so I tried first importing and uh, organizing the way I import stuff because it's really important because I don't know how this uh, project would go in the wrong in the long run. So um, yeah, first I I, I I tried to get the things that um, I sketched first. You know that's the first thing. You, you don't want to get um, taken by you know the flow and do something that at the end you don't really know what are you doing. So, um, yeah, so I started getting the, the, the most important details first. Which is the speaker, the, the date, and the, the, the focus. You know, I added those slashes, those dash and all that, just to make things futuristic and all that. So, before I started, I tried to set the mood for the background, which, as you can see, um, is uh, yeah, a bit grayish. Um, and then I added a bit of uh, paint stroke because um, I've just played recently DMC and um, Alice Madness Returns and I thought the artistic kind of uh, paintbrush style on the sky is quite cool so I tried to add it here as well but as you will see later on it's quite a fail so to do that um, I just used a bit of linear wipe and hue and saturation to change the colors and uh, play with the blending mode as well here as you can see I tried to make a sphere and uh, try to see which blending mode would work well because um, I had the idea but then I had to experiment to see what's gonna happen you know so uh, um, yeah, I, I love overlays, like one thing is on top but in the same time it's uh, down. I like to do that, that's why I masked all those parts. Um, and uh, the sun actually represents the, the knowledge and the energy and the power from the guy and at the same time it presents the sun in an artistic way. So I added a grungy effect, a grungy texture on top with a soft light, um, as you could see, to, 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 to give a bit of grunge uh, style, like uh, dirt on the camera. Um, still, I'm having a lot of, a lot of uh, problem with the, the, the speaker placement in the same time, the way the paint truck looks. That's why I keep trying again and again and again. I thought it was a problem of balancing and that's something that is really important when you are working with uh, when you're working with graphic software is you need to balance your um, your posters you need to balance your composition and that problem was that's why I duplicated the the, um, the paint stroke to try to balance it downstairs but uh, in the bottom not downstairs <laughs> but it didn't really work so in spite of spending too much time on that I said you know I have a lot of problems let me just keep going on finish first what I what I sketched so I sketched those um, kind of mathematical equations I used the linear wipe and the fill to, to place them there and then uh, after that I said uh, let me go with the most basic elements which is the pins on the poster that's something I add every time I'm doing HUDs, HUDs, UI or anything futuristic related so I add those plus size to, to on the corners. Again, I'm trying to, to grab uh, as more as um, equations as I could, placing them everywhere, you know, to just to feel the composition, to feel the, the, the posture, to make it look more detailed. And sometimes, at the same time, I'm removing the bits that I think are redundant. Redundant, not redundant. <laughs> um, yeah. So now that I got 
how much I sketched. That's exactly, to be honest, how much I sketched. Now I'm just adding stuff. You know um, things that I think are gonna make a good uh, thing of course the rest position text was just um, was just disturbing there um, I don't want the user to read something that he can read I don't want him to do that I want the user to only see things that he cannot grasp and um, see the things that he needs to see so I use this uh, Hollywood kind of poster techniques is by putting that huge equations on behind you know but then still the date was uh, not too visible so I tried to put it on top and try to place with the to play with the kerning but that was a very wrong idea so um, I just set the kerning back to zero and uh, try to put the, the date on top but the thing uh, here is that um, the AEMY text was taking much of mass most of the content I mean the 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 you know the user focus so that was a problem as well and then I tried to, to add this um, chromatic aberration you know to, to the whole feel but then still the text was really disturbing um, it was taking most of the attention so I just removed it and kept the 27 which is the really important thing plus they can't really see a e e EMY they can only see MY which is really bad so I'm still having a problem with uh, the pain stroke and uh, I didn't know how to do and uh, the text on the speaker was really bad and so I'm trying to remove this remove that to see how it looks like and apparently it looked good when I don't have any of the paint strokes uh, still the texts are giving me a huge problem I'm trying to, to, to change the font type and then I just doubled up the Sun to make the text more visible but still I had a problem with the text and I liked how the Sun was so strong here so removing the paint stroke was actually a good idea <laughs> um, all right now I'm back to filling up the whole screen because I was having too much uh, problem with the uh, Salmania Sin and Raihan which are the speakers so I said let me move to other stuff before I go there um, so I tried fixing the date as well because I can't see them and I have to make sure that they are in the text area that's the, the, the that small uh, rectangle there and in the, the same time I said alright let me play with a bit of overlay you know to fix the readability and the same time it's consistent with all the other styles it's on top and in the same time it's on the bottom which is quite cool now I'm trying to see where I can put the, the text but then I realized oh I haven't used my grid a grid is something that you guys have to learn about. It's really important. You have to, to use grid. You have to learn how to use grids. Um, there is this um, PDF and uh, this uh, book called Essential uh, of Layout and Grids. You really guys have to, 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 to give it um, a go. As you can see, the moment I used the grid, it solved all my problems. It solved it instantly. I can't explain the grids in this very tutorial because it's very long. and. That's the thing. That's why I'm doing a speed AE because I didn't really have time to make it trial. And um, yeah, I, I I thought I'm gonna be so free um, this this year, but actually it turns out that I'm more busy than even before. So um, yeah, but I try to do a recording of what I do. I think at least that's better than not doing anything and not sharing any information with you guys. So again, as you can see. I'm trying to apply the overlay on top of the text but I was having a problem because my uh, son as used as an alpha mate the opacity was uh, too down that's why I couldn't see the text so then I said you know what crap um, forget the overlay I'm gonna use the watchdog uh, kind of technique which is putting a text on top of a, a box shape layer so that you can enhance your readability and then that's it so as you can see that guys um, yes it's possible actually to do posters in After Effects <laughs> I pretty much do everything in After Effects and uh, yeah so I just ended up adding the the school uh, logo because it's the partners it's where the the the, uh, the whole AMY is gonna be held so I just put it right there down there that's I'm gonna put the partners and all that <laughs> so that's pretty much it um, there's a lot of techniques as you can see, layering, alpha mate, you have to learn all that before you want to try to go and create these amazing movements and all that. First you have to learn how to, to, to balance your compositions and all that. So please do a search on grids, compositing, do your uh, Photoshop also on After Effects to, uh, to improve that. 
And if you want to help me out, yes, um, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'm really active there, so you can just give it a go. And also, you can check uh, the other checks out. Typography Motion, Earth Hour, you can learn a lot, I hope. Why? Because I also use Lens Flares sometimes. So, all right. Subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.